Hi guys, in this video I will be talking about Lady Jane Grey, also known as the Nine Days Queen. Lady Jane Grey was titular Queen of England for just nine days in 1553. She was born around 1537 and was the eldest daughter of Henry Grey, later the Duke of Suffolk, and her mother was Frances Brandon, who was the eldest daughter of Henry VIII's youngest sister, Mary, who was the Queen of France for marrying the King of France. This made Lady Jane the great-niece of Henry VIII and the great-granddaughter of Henry VII. So she had a claim to the throne, but not a direct claim. When Lady Jane was about 10 years old, she went to live with Henry VIII's last wife, Catherine Parr. There she was brought up as a president. She was said to have been a very religious woman and also extremely intelligent. When Lady Jane's father was made a duke, she came to stay at the King's Court where she met the Duke of Northumberland who was a president and he was acting as Regent King as the King at the time who was Edward VI was too young to rule. Later she married the Duke of Northumberland's son who was Lord Guildford, I always forget his name, who was Lord Guildford, oh, what was his name? Dudley who was called Lord, Lord Guilford Dudley. Edward VI became very ill and Duke of Northumberland was convinced that the king was going to die and he was desperate to prevent the throne from passing to Edward's half-sister Mary because she was a Catholic and he didn't want to see a Catholic rule in England. So he persuaded the king just before he died to announce Lady Jane as his next heir, claiming that Mary and his other half-sister, Elizabeth, were illegitimate. A few days after the King's death, Lady Jane was made Queen, although she was never actually crowned Queen. She was then moved to the Tower of London. However, Mary had a lot of support, she was very popular, and people wanted to see her Queen and not uh, Lady Jane. Even Lady Jane's own father, the Duke of Suffolk, was claiming that Mary should be queen because he was basically just trying to save himself. And while Duke Northumberland was away in East Anglia trying to capture Mary, a lot of Lady Jane's supporters switched sides and started to support Mary as their queen. Now that all of Lady Grey's supporters had abandoned her, on the 19th of July 1553, Lady Grey was imprisoned in the Tower of London along with her husband and father. Lady Jane's father was later pardoned, but she and her husband were tried for treason. Mary was then crowned Queen of England. Although Lady Jane's father, the Duke of Suffolk, was pardoned, he later rebelled against the Queen alongside Sir Thomas Wyatt in what was known as the Wyatt Rebellion and ultimately he was responsible for his daughter's death. Thomas Wyatt was an English soldier who didn't like the idea of having a Catholic Queen and he also didn't like the idea of Mary marrying Philip of Spain. So this rebellion took place but they didn't have a lot of support and it soon failed. After the Wyatt Rebellion failed, Lady Jane was now seen as a threat so she along with her husband Guilford, why do I always forget that? Guilford Dudley, Guilford Dudley were executed on the 12th of February 1554. The Duke of Northumberland was executed in August of 1553 and Lady Jane's father was killed not long after his daughter. Lady Jane Grey was only about 17 when she was killed on the green inside the Tower of London. Her last words were, Lord, into thy hands I commend my spirit. She was the Queen of England for just nine days, the shortest reign of any English monarch. I hope you found learning about Lady Jane Grey interesting. I love history and I love talking about different people throughout history so I'll be sure to make a lot more of these types of videos. So if you love history too please subscribe to me and I will see you in my next video. Bye!